Alright guys, I figured I'd record some gameplay, just like some T16 maps while I'm trying to get Cyrus to spawn. Um, just so, uh, maybe I'll like bring up tips like while I'm playing. Like if I think of something that's like uh, good to know, then I'll mention it. I actually just found these boots in Ritual. They're Tri-Res T1 Life T1 Hybrid. Not evasion, unfortunately, but it's fine. So I'm just going to craft movement speed on them and call it a day. I think these are pretty good. Um, I could quickly touch on uh, what macros I use. So I use Awaken Poe Trade and then I use uh, Mercury Trade, which is this bar down here. So I'll sell these for, I don't know, we'll put them up for 2x and then drop it. My usual, like, like how I usually price things, I overprice it initially in case someone's um, like impulse buying it. Like, oh, I've been waiting for this item and they just buy it, right? And then I lower it by like 20C per hour until it sells. And then I set like a minimum. So minimum for this is at least an X, right? For T1 life, triple res movement speed, at least an X. So I'll lower this from two to the 1.8 to 1.6, 1.4, and I'll keep it around 1.2 or 1X um, every hour. I could divine it as well because the T1 life is mineraled, but I don't think I have, yeah, I don't have a free divine, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Um, I've built up quite a good map pool. I'm just trying to get um, Cyrus to spawn now, so I've been running. I like doing hay work because I have the harvest, so I've been focusing on doing hay work ramparts. And then I check if I need to corrupt it or not, which I don't, because I already have it completed. I like to do two chisels. I don't know, 10 feels like a nice round number. And then this has Ellie damage, so um, unlucky, but you spin the chaos because or you could sell the map, but that, that just takes so much time. Cool. And then I um, I have a, a macro from Awaken Poetry that checks mods. If any appear red, then they're bad. Um, let me see if I have any frags. If I have any extra, like, just random really bad scarabs, I'll just throw them in. Because they, they depreciate in value over the league. So, for example, this 20% rusted cartography scarab, if I get a single map from this scarab, it pays for itself and some. Because these maps are worth 6C, 2C, uh, what's like a good map worth? I don't know. Macro's not working. But um, these are worth like 6 to 10C, like 15 to 16, right? And this is worth 2C. So you're going to make money if you get a map. If you get two maps, then it's just doubling. And if you hold on to this for too long, maps drop in value and it's no longer worth it. So use, use your scarabs when you have them. Throw a sack frag in there because I can't do a Ziri anyways. If you use if you have free crafts, use those. Do your master missions, um, and I have uh, sextants on. So you really want to invest in your maps because they will pay off. Um, oh yeah, you can't do a master mission with a bestiary. Let's do let's do domination. Okay, and um, I'm not saying my gameplay is gonna be perfect. I very well might die, um, maybe a few times, but. Um, yeah, that's just how it goes, I guess. So really just play f piano flasks and have all your flasks up at all times and use Vol Grace when you're in a sticky situation. And then you can use your power siphon for your single target, or you, or you should, but you have to be wary that from our Shroud of the Light list, we're getting shade form every time you use, or no, 20% of the time that you use power siphon. So look, our Cartagri Scarab's already paying dividends, right? I'm assuming at least one of those was from our cartography scarab. Um, I'm just quickly checking if there's any GG items. Actually, I'm going to bottle this up because we could save that for another map. <clears throat> I forgot what I was saying, but um, yeah, use grace when you're in a sticky situation for sure. I just heard a volatile, so I'm going to wait for it just to be extra safe. Another uh, domination shrine down here. Um, if you're flame dashing into like fog of war, for example, I don't know what's on this side of my screen. If I'm flame dashing over here, you have to be immediately ready to pop grace if there's like a, a red beast there or like a pack of who knows what, right? So there I got stun chained a little bit, but I mean, we have 4k life and we're doing tier 16 maps, so it's gonna happen. Um, also our golem dies instantaneously. Um, so I like to go counterclockwise, 
this just feels the most efficient for me on rituals. So I just pop Grace, so I'm invincible now. So I can go ahead and f focus all the single target, pop the volatiles. So look, our cartography, our cartography scarab is just paying massive dividends. You could probably invest in those even and, and buy those. So I, I like I have chromes enabled on my loot filter, but everything else is pretty strict. Like I don't have any bases showing up really, but I like chromes. Okay, I'm gonna loop back because I've missed a portion of the map up here. I like to full clear because you know until I have insane amount of maps, I really can't afford not killing all the mobs. I'm popping Grace here because there's two red beasts on my screen and I can just go invincible and kill them. Uh, Grace lasts six seconds. I have some increased duration, so it's maybe like 6.5 seconds. And then it goes down on cooldown for 9 seconds, and you have to rebuild the um, the stacks. So all in all, it takes about 15 seconds for your grace to come back up. 9 seconds cooldown takes you about 6 seconds to get it filled back up. Um, so I like to operate when there's really hard mobs on my screen. I operate on a 15 second window. I'm out of flash charges here. So I'm going to kite this red beast down until I have grace again, because it's not worth going melee range. All right, now I have grace, so I can just tank it. Okay, that, that guy's dead. All right, Grace is down, but I got the red beast. So now I'm basically counting in my head 15 seconds. I have Grace back up, actually. It came up a little early. Okay, again, go counterclockwise. Put my Arcanist brand on the ground, which will apply Sniper's Mark to the hard mobs. Um, I'm getting Grasping Roots, which disables my Flame Dash, so I have to be really careful. Again, just going counterclockwise, casting Power Siphon. Okay, I'll shut up a little bit so you can guys just watch the gameplay. Volatile is on me. I'll s stop it. There we go. Popping Grace here so I can kill all these things. Okay, I think Grace went down. My Mortal Call is on cooldown, so I'm going to be a little bit careful here. Okay, everything's dead. I'm not sure where the last mob is right here. Um, again... Cartography Scarab paying massive dividends here. Like we've uh, look at all these maps that we got from one map. We I think we got five or six. I'm just quickly checking because that was the last ritual. Make sure I'm not standing on any ground effects. Check div cards because you can get like doctors and stuff. Um, bad, 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 bad. Crit armor, no bad, 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 bad. Yeah, this is a uh, this is a reroll. Series mirror. Puncture duration. Always check these because they could be the prophecy version. They could be reflection. So always check the name. Okay, this was um, pretty bad. So we're gonna take the essence, and we're going to take this because we can spend an augment on that to see if we get something decent, and we'll take this so we can vol it, and then we'll take. Uh, ritual splinters so I can create more of um, the vessels. Alright, let's go up to the next tier up here. We still haven't procced um, the green the green guy yet. I don't know what his name is. Al Hazmin or something. I'm picking up Divine Vessels because I actually need to do those um, Pantheons. I keep forgetting to do them, but they're actually really good. Like, one of them makes you immune to poison, which I should probably get. Boss on this map, I think does fat chaos damage, so um, I want to make sure to have my Xeris Promise Flask up. Another map, Cartography Scarab doing work. So I think I'm going to try to make sure I have a Xeris Promise Flask up, so I'm going to be tentative when I use it. Get my Golem back up, yeah, so I think this boss does chaos damage, it fits what I'm thinking of. Oh no, this is not what I think it was. It does, um, there we go. So I just used um, my Arcanist brand on him, and Arcanist brand is linked to Sniper's Mark and Wave of Conviction. So when I put it down and he walks over this, it will Sniper's Mark him and then apply exposure with Wave of Conviction. It doesn't stack with our Ascendancy, but it does apply, it's a little bit larger of an exposure. Um, all right, that was that map. Um, Didn't proc, but we did get um, this boss fight. We could try it. I might die, because how many bosses is it? Six? 
no, five tier 15 bosses. I have 43% XP, yeah. Uh, we'll try it. I think the best strat is just to go one at a time. I use Grace there, so I don't have it for all these other bosses. This boss is AoE, so we gotta kill him first. I don't know what he does, so I'm gonna run away. Yeah, I really don't know what that guy does. Okay, they're all that was easier than I thought. Okay, we're gonna get more harvest. Sweet. Cool, now, now these, when we're trying to spawn the Conqueror now, we'll get even more. We'll do an Atoll. We're going to put a Bloodfield Vessel. We're going to chisel it twice. Alkit. Chaos. Double Curse. This is a really sketchy map. Um, what we're going to do here is get um, a Shaper Scarab. Because it has high pack size. So we'll get a Shaper Scarab on there. Could put a Harby. Yeah, we'll put a Harbinger on here. And then let's redo our sextants. Strong box. If I get reflect on one of these watchstones, what I'll do is I'll move it. So here is actually a decent watchstone. It's um, uh, it's an unID'd watchstone. So I'm just gonna swap it and kind of hold it here in case I want to use it somewhere else. In fact, I'll put it in Lex Eoris. No, 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 in Lex Proxima, because I'll go over there pretty soon. Because it would be a waste if I used it now, because this isn't un unid, and I'm not going to vault it. Okay, so we're going to put all these in. We're going to put a free rampage craft. I don't do syndicates too rippy. I'm not going to do any missions actually. Maybe bestiary. <laughs> all right. So this is a T16, 100% quant, double scarab rampage, tri quad sextant, double curse. And I have 4k life, so if I die, it is... I hope you guys understand. <laughs> I'm not a bad player, I promise. It's just too rippy for me. Okay, I'm, oh, this is a, a clockwise angle. I usually go counterclockwise, but we have this rock to work around here. And, uh, it feels like a natural uh, movement pattern. Okay, never mind. Going back to the clockwise. Or counterclockwise. The reason I think counterclockwise is the best rotation here is the way that these rituals spawn monsters seems to be in a clockwise pattern. See how that just appeared in front of me while I was going around? I think it's the safest and most efficient option to go counterclockwise so that you're running into the mobs instead of them spawning behind you while you're running around. Um, yeah, that's just what I feel. I don't have the proof on that, but it, that's what it feels like to me. Popping Grace here just so I can burst him. He's really tanky, so Grace is going to run out. So now I'm just going to kite him until I get... Because um, he's a triple essence beast, right? So I'm just going to kite him until I have Grace. Okay, I have Grace, so I can kill that guy, and I can come over here. Okay, Grace doesn't help with AoE ground effects, because you can't you can't dodge those. So I'm just going to keep kiting them, because I can't I can't reasonably burst them down. So I'm just going to wait till I have Grace again. Okay. Oh, I, I. That was a bug. I don't know what just happened. Okay. There's a red beast up here, so I'm going to be careful about where I flame dash, because they inflict really strong bleeds. Some of them, and you don't want to get uh, tapped by one of those with your flask down. Okay. Activate Grace. Burst him down. I'm not doing a vault side area because, actually, I might for the content. Who knows? The conqueror still hasn't spawned yet. Very interesting. It's like my eighth map, probably. Going clockwise here. Don't know why, I just am. Te I'm just testing out the difference between the two. Yeah, I don't like how they appear behind me, so... I'm gonna go this way. I'm, I have Grace here, so now I can just face tank. Pop everything. Um, I don't know. Oh, Div Scarab, obviously. Don't even have to check anything else. That looks... Kind of bad, bad. I'll check that later. All right, we'll do the side area. 
I'm gonna quickly check the mods. Bloodline, Caspied, Monster Life. It's actually a pretty easy fall side area. <laughs> I might jinx it, but yeah, here we go. Oh my god, I popped Grace because I didn't know what I was. <laughs> my screen got cluttered. I panicked a little bit. But now that Grace is on cooldown, I have to be careful. That's a divine orb right there. We got speed shrine, so I'm actually not too bothered. I just gotta make sure I don't run into um, like that, a bunch of explosions. I don't know where the boss is. I should pop Grace. I right, pop Grace. Sacrifice at dawn. I should enable those on my loot filter, but haven't gotten around to it. How many rituals? Zero rituals left, so we know that we're just sailing to the boss now. Oh, Shaper mobs, really rippy. Realistically, should have pop, popped Grace there as well, but I guess now I have it for the boss. This boss does AoE, so Grace is pretty much useless, but I'm going to pop it. I'm going to immediately pop Arcanist Brand on this guy. Oh, okay, this might be a portal out. I don't, I don't have any flash charges. Uh, I'm just trying to understand what I'm looking at. Okay, Agent in the Void. This guy's on 40%. Remember, Power Stack has Cooling Strike, so... I'm gonna go for the Shaper guy first. Put an Arcanist Brand on this guy. Okay, so I Cooling Striked him. I'm just gonna... Burst him out. Uh, Viridian Jewel, I'm gonna Vol that. Alright, let's go clear the map now. Like I said, I don't really like to leave maps uncleared. Or, like, at least less than 50. Um, I get a lot of messages like, oh, I'm, like, oh, I have 5k life, like, more life than you, and I'm still dying in maps. Um, I could have cleared this map with 2k life. It's just a matter of your playstyle and understanding the limitations of your build. For example, most of you would probably flame dash into there, like, oh, there's mobs over there, right? I just opened a strong box. If you flame dash over there, there's a good chance you're going to die. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to orb walk over there and just see what's happening. There very well could have been, I don't know, a Volatile, a Bleed Mob, um, some on death effect. You never know. So never just dash into the unknown. Um, you should make it known. So I do something called Orb Walking, where you kind of go up, you shoot a right click, and you run backwards. Um, I exa I'm exaggerating it massively here, but it looks something like this. But in reality, it's kind of a micro Orb Walk. So what I'm doing right now is a micro Orb Walk, where I'm moving and attacking at the same time. Um, this gets easier and easier as you get more attack speed. And um, it makes you really safe because monsters that are like melee monsters, for example, they'll charge up a swing and like like try to hit you. But if you're orb walking, the attack will never actually land on you. They're just going to whiff and hit the air, right? Unless they have like really fast attack speed. So I'm purposely exaggerating the orb walking here just to show you what I'm talking about, but normally it's it's much more subtle than this, and I wouldn't I'm not so verbose about it. Oh, my mortal call got procced, so I'm just gonna chill a little bit. A lot of players wouldn't chill when their mortal call is procced, so you chill, you wait five seconds, and then you can reassess the situation. It got procced again. Okay, I'm perfectly okay with chilling. I have no flash charges. Okay, killed this Harbinger, so I'm not rushing the gameplay. I have 4k life on a T16 juiced map, so, you know, surviving is the hardest part. That's just the only thing I should be worrying about. So, again, I'm not flame dashing into the unknown. I'm just kind of assessing what's happening. 17 monsters, we can uh, check the store again. Um, I don't know if that's good. Is that good? 2c? Nope. I like taking fossils when there's nothing else to grab. I have no inventory space. Uh, okay, we'll come back on the map. Um, we'll sell this thing for a divine. Always check if it has health on it. it. It would sell more than a divine. Or if it's off-colored. Use our tab affinities to socket everything. Um, these jewels, I like the vault, the green ones. Because I'm pretty sure you can get a inspired learning. 
Okay, so I just throw jewels in a 1C tab and let people... Oh, so what I was saying with these, just the the tier 1 whatevers, you can just throw an AUG. It doesn't cost you anything, and it, c it could turn out good. Uh, this is trash. We'll save that for our next thing. We'll just keep stacking the maps. I keep them all in my inventory just so I can quickly um, hold Alt, and you can see incomplete, incomplete, right? So those are the ones I need to do. Still no influence yet. Um, oh, I just see that we have strong box uh, sextant, so I'm gonna look if I have a ambush, which I don't. All right, let's go again. Um, I'm gonna lower the price of those boots. They should have sold by now if they were worth it for somebody. So I'm just gonna go through and lower some stuff. Because at the end of the day, items in your cell tab aren't worth anything unless they're purchased. So even if you're massively underpricing it, you just need the you need to liquidate. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna liquidate this yet because that's actually um that's my minimum that I set for that item, in my mind. This has been here for a while. Whoops. We'll just drop it by 10c. I don't really care as long as it sells. It sells. These have been here too long. These are getting destroyed. These aren't priced, but it's fine because I don't know what they're worth. This is getting destroyed. 3C. Okay. So just keeping things um, updated. Um, and when you do update the price, it will actually ping on someone's live search if they're live searching it. So you will you might get some hits immediately. Who knows? All right. So we scour blue maps. Uh, double chis. Alchemy. Not bad, but the boss has a lot of mods on it. Uh, this is probably a skip boss map unless I need it um, no I don't need it so it's a skip boss I think I'm not gonna juice it too much I actually just want the conqueror to spawn really where are we arachnidness is this haywork yeah so again kind of orb walk a little bit make sure you know what you're getting yourself into before you just randomly dash into stuff. I could put some Arcanist brands down to kill the um, the juicy mobs. I'm going to hide over here. I know this is a safe space. I can kind of kite mobs around this corner. Because again, we are 4k life. So you need to play very safe. Um, whoa, 72 energy shield? Oh no, 36. Okay. But even though I have 4k life, um, I don't I don't really die in maps. Like I have 52% XP at level 92. Um, I'll, I'll die maybe like twice a day, and it's always on bosses or it's always when I'm really tired. Um, if you play the game correctly, it's actually quite predictable when you'll die. For example, if I get hit by this, I'm dead. So I'm just not going to get hit by it. For example, I know it's, it sounds um, like obvious, but really just pay attention to what can kill you and avoid those things. For example, do not flame dash into here, even though it looks very tempting. Just walk. <laughs> okay, now we have a zoom zoom, so now we can really abuse our, our massive DPS increase, and we can just flame dash into whatever you want. Oh, a diviner is nice. I'm not going to ID it. I'm just going to hit it. It's corrupted, so I can't. Um, you can't even roll it, so it doesn't matter. Cool, 5C, 10C, 11C. Oh, I got a bleed. See, that's what happens when you flame dash randomly. You get hit with a bleed, and you have to reactively flask. But I'm being very careless because I have the um, the shrine, and I have 15 seconds left. I can probably clear the whole map. I'm not gonna pop the ritual because the shrine gives me movement speed, and the ritual stops you from moving. Right, you're stuck in a circle. So what I'm gonna do is clear as much of the map with this OP shrine, and then I'm gonna do the rituals because I'm missing out on most of the benefit of the movement speed if I'm stuck in a circle. That guy almost one shot me. I'm gonna go get my flask back before I do this ritual. Again, some of you would have definitely started that um, that ritual without any flasks, and without grace up, you would have died. This would kill me if I got hit by it, so I'm just going to avoid it. I'm bleeding. I can see it on my head there. Just making sure I'm recording, otherwise I'd be talking to myself randomly. Okay, don't get hit by this, so I'll just play it very patiently. It's still following me. I'm going to pop grace so I can like, go back in here and kill everything. I hear another volatile. Be very, very careful. Those will one-shot you. If you don't dodge it, of course. OK. 
Okay, there's, I don't know what any of those jewels are, so I'll check those in a second. Okay, so we're looping back. Um, no flash charges, no grace. Um, I don't need, I don't think I, okay, I have a diamond flask at least. I'm gonna kind of be a little risky here. I don't have any flasks up. So I'm just gonna hide a little bit. Wait till I have grace. Okay, I have flash charges and I have grace now. So I can be, I'm invincible, like actually invincible. I hear volatile, be very, very careful. Two volatiles, that's super sketchy. Getting my golem back up, putting an Arcanist Brand in the choke point. If you put an Arcanist Brand in the choke point and you kite monsters through it, they're guaranteed to walk on it. Okay. So you'll see that map's taking me a long time to clear, but I'm not dying, I'm getting XP, which is a bonus. I'm quickly checking. This looks like a reroll, these all kind of suck. Uh, I'll take alchemies though. I'll take the incubator and the uh, the whetstones. Okay, we'll put the incubator on my weapon there. I like to vol the green ones. Oh, we got a faster attack. Remember, we put domination on the map, so we have a lot of shrines, which are pretty cool. So, be a little careful here, though. Uh, let me clear that pack, actually. Get flash charges, as many as I can. We had 20 seconds on the, um... On the Domination Shrine, so... We should at least get the first phase of whoever the boss is. She does massive poison chaos damage. Okay, this might be a log out. I'm thinking about logging out here. Nope, I have Grace up. Okay. I was thinking about logging there because I didn't have charges and I didn't have grace. Or I might have had grace, but I didn't have time to check. I was getting dotted. Boss is up. I don't know where it is. This might be a... Yeah, this is a port. No grace, no charges. And I didn't know where the boss was exactly. Um, let me plan my escape. I'm going to flame dash here and then flame dash here to get into this corridor here so I can put an Arcanist brand. This is buffed by the Weaver, so I'm just playing it exceptionally safe. I kind of backed myself into a corner. That was my bad there. See, that's bad gameplay, and that's what gets you killed. I flame dash into something that I was not ready to. No charges here. This might be a log, but I'm kind of being greedy here because I know I have Cooling Strike. Okay, I just kill all the adds so I can check the ritual again. Nope, okay. Five mobs are remaining. No, um, no influence yet, but I'm gonna, how long is this video? 20 minutes? Alright, I'm gonna stop it here, I'll do like a part two, because I, I don't know how, uh, how big of a file I can upload at once reasonably, so, yeah, stay tuned for part two of mapping, hopefully getting influence, and hopefully doing Cyrus.